guys and welcome back to Darisa's Daily Deets where I discuss everything from fashion, beauty to lifestyle. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be giving you my top five shopping hacks to save you some money because we all know that on my channel, we like to be a little bougie on a budget. All of that, you guys already know that if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit the notification bell yet, not sure what you're waiting for, but you need to go ahead and hit that right now, just so you know when I'm uploading my videos, I post videos two times a week. And also make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe because I love to hear from you guys. I love to get the feedback and interact with you. And without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so number one, I'm gonna, well, first off, let me just start off by saying this. When shopping, you know, there are a lot of different ways that you can save money. And a lot of people are just, I, I mean, I thought that a lot of people were aware of some of this stuff. Some people aren't, some people are. So if you are already aware of a lot of this, then you know, hey, um, you know, then that's great. But a lot of people are not aware of just different little tips and tricks on how to save money. So here I am, I'm just trying to be a little bit helpful to you because I have a lot of hauls coming soon. And a lot of the ways that I'm able to do these hauls is by implementing a little bit of these hacks that I'm going to be giving you today. So first things first, number one that I would say that I use most often is by signing up for store reward programs. And when I tell you like, I don't care where it is and I know it's annoying getting all the emails, but I would say maybe have like a separate email where you just have all that store junk crap going to it, but check it like every day because believe it or not, there are some awesome deals in there. And a lot of times what they don't like to tell you is that when you sign up, you get free things for your birthday. I have a whole video on how to get free stuff for your birthday. But number one, of course, is by signing up for their program. And I'm telling you, you're getting like, like recently I just got a $10 reward for shopping at Express. I barely even shop at Express to be quite honest to me, they're a little expensive. So I got a $10 reward and I actually ended up getting a shirt for only $5. So, if you're not aware of that, you know, you definitely should be taking advantage of all these reward programs. Um, you can get free stuff on your birthday. Um, throughout the year, they're always offering little coupons and discounts that you can use and combine sometime with other discounts they may be offering. So, it's really, really good to make sure that you are signed up for those programs. All right, so the next thing is Ebates. If you are not using Ebates, I don't know what you are doing because Ebates basically pays you to shop. A lot of times if you download the app, and I'll link my Ebates code down below because, I mean, if you sign up, you, I believe, get $25. I get $25. You get somebody else to sign up. They get $25, and then it's just like a you know, spreading the wealth, spreading the love, joy type of experience. And that's probably not the word I wanted to use, but oh well. <laughs> Anyways, but you guys get where I'm going with this. But yeah, so basically Ebates, you sign up for their program. And what you do is you can either link your card or you can log into the site. And once you log into the site, you get percentages off for shopping at these particular stores. So for example, um, say you're shopping at Sephora. Just use Sephora because they're always on there and they could be given 5% cash back, which doesn't sound like much, but I mean, it's still free money that you're going to get back just for using an app. It's free. Um, there's no, uh, there's nothing to it. I mean, literally you just sign up Make sure that you are logging in because that's going to be the hardest part is remember to, remembering to log in to Ebay's first because I even struggle with that from time to time. But yeah, and it just turns into money. It accumulates. And then I think once every quarter, you get a check. And I believe you could either get a direct deposited or mailed out. I normally just get my, you know, excuse me. And yeah, so it's like a win-win situation. So that's another way to be able to save money because trust me, like especially if, like around the holidays and stuff like that, that stuff really adds up. I mean, it may sound like a little bit of money here and there, but that little bit of money turns into a lot of money over time. So yeah, if you are not signed up for Ebates, make sure you go ahead and do that right now. Okay, and then my next hack, number three, is going to be to make sure you are shopping off season. And when I say off season, I think a lot of people get mixed up. So let me say this. 
Stores off season is not the same as the weather's off season. So right now we're getting spring clothes. Um, I work part time at a store and we are getting spring clothes in, which means that our winter clothes are marked down. Now I live in Cleveland, Ohio. It's cold pretty much about six to seven months out the e year, if you ask me. But if you can get sweaters now that are marked down, why not get them now? So I'm not saying, you know, get all your shorts in October or December. I'm more so saying, you know, shop the stores off season. So for like, um, obviously um, in the winter time, or like say summer's ending, give me a prime example. It's still gonna be warm for a really long time, but that summer stuff is still gonna be getting marked down. So, you know, I would say start looking in the stores like maybe like August, to start getting your summer clothes on sale because you know you still pretty much have like two more months left of summer so you get to wear it then and then you have clothes to wear the next year that you're really paying really um affordable low prices for and a lot of people don't know that a lot of people think that when you say off season that means you know you're getting a coat in july i mean you can do that but that's not necessarily always the case you don't always have to do that so that's just another hack of mine that i like to use Okay, and then number four is going to be to shop in the kids section if you can. People are always so surprised at the amount of things that I tell them that I find in the kids section. Number one, if you're small enough and, and you don't even necessarily have to be like super skinny to shop in the kids section, especially girls, women, like the boys section, especially with the trends that are out now, that's gonna be your best friend. The little boy section at like Walmart or even if you're trying to get luxury items, some luxury items like Gucci, if you get like the Gucci t-shirts and stuff in the kids section, you're saving upwards to like 100 to $200 sometime on some of that stuff. So if you can look and find it in the kids section and you're able to fit into, you know, certain kids items, I say look in the kids section. And I'm talking about stores like, you know, H&M, they have a kids section. Uh, Walmart, Target, all of them, they have kids sections. And preferably, I mean, I don't know about the girls, but the boy section. Um, I, I, I'll shout my, shout my friend out because she's one of the ones that kind of reminded me about that. We were talking about like the Adidas track suits and she's like, oh yeah, you know, you can go ahead and get those in the kids section. I'm like, sis, you right. You can do that. We can do that. So, I mean, I'm like, that's a hack. You know, a lot of people don't remember that or don't even think about that. So I would say go to the kids section first if you can, if it's a particular item that you know that's universal that you could probably find there. Now my last hack, number five is going to be to thrift when you can. And when I say thrift, the fashion repeats itself. And okay, I don't think that, well, me personally, I don't, I'm not a big uh, fan of everything coming from the thrift store. That's not what I'm saying. But if you can get little items here and there from the thrift store, check it out. Because a lot of times those thrift stores, I mean, some are starting to be a little more overpriced than they used to be, but they have sales too. They also have reward programs. I've signed up for two. I did Savers and the Goodwills reward program. And they send you emails. I even have what's called like a village um, discount outlet, which is not super close to me, but it's close enough for me to get the deals. So <laughs> I'm saying all that to say that if you could thrift it first, try to thrift it first. If like these trendy items that are coming back around that you've noticed that have been out before our, our time and you start to see them back out now, See what you can find at the thrift store, like the oversized denim trucker jacket type looks, um, you know, the oversized champion and all that. See what you can do at the thrift store. Now, it can be a little more time consuming, but if you have the time to do it, I definitely recommend you do thrift it first. That now brings us to the end of the video. So I hope these tips were really helpful to you. Hope that you guys are able to take something away from this, that you guys are able to start saving some more money, saving some more coins. And if you have any questions about any of these hacks that I've mentioned or anything, comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. I don't wanna keep going on and on and on. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I wanna say thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.